Wouldn't it be awesome if we could teach our kids how to dream big, to walk through the fear of the unknown, and to come out on the other side? That's why I'm trying to take the boundaries off my own mind so I can be an example for my kids and for the others around me. My name is Luke Conrad and I make cartoons. I was one of those kids that would be up before the cartoons started and I would sit there and stare at the colored blocks on the television and just wait for the cartoons to start. And I believe that it was in those moments that my life was redirected to making cartoons and animation. Cartoon Conrad to me is many things. It's a new way of living for our future generation. Our life is changing and it's becoming easier to break away from the ordinary and do something really unique. We are a bit wacky at times, um, but we work really hard here. With that said, I couldn't think of a better place to do what we love. Animation can be really straining and it's like pouring out all of your inspiration and then you have to fill yourself back up again. But it makes it easier when you can step outside on your break and you are literally in the middle of nature. We have deer and turtles and beavers and owls, ducks, anything you could imagine. We even have a cubicle cabin if you really need a quiet place to work on a deadline. So I started back when Luke was a one-man wrecking crew all by himself and somehow or another he convinced me to be part of this uh, journey that has become Cartoon Conrad. With over a decade of relationships, I like to consider ourselves a group of artists joined together in the woods to create something that we couldn't do without each other. Something that could reach the world. A couple years ago, I watched as our work played on the Jumbotron in New York City and all I could think about was how much I wanted to tell people where that came from. Uh, when we first moved here, uh, the place was completely abandoned for uh, over a year, and we literally had to scare the raccoons and the squirrels out of the building. From there, I started to get excited and share the vision and what I wanted for the studio, and that I wanted it to be more than just an animation studio. And I wanted to inspire kids, and just to show them that what they love to do is possible. And the strangest things started to happen. People started to notice, and they started to come out. My friends and my family, um, even people I didn't know came out to the farm to just help out to, to be here with us. It started with the cleanup and then drywall and painting. Um, and then my father ended up selling his RV and went out and bought a backhoe to work on the land. Work, W-O-R-K, it just bounced in my head. I said, Luke, it's gonna be all wrong, don't work. <laughs> if he hadn't bought it, we would. <laughs> Obviously, building uh, this, this community here is important, but it, the individual too. We have brought in people straight out of school and uh, have brought in people from different parts of the country and even different countries. And to now see that, uh, that growth and that ability to, to sustain the, the bigger crews and to get the bigger projects is pretty exciting for us. Since then, I've seen some amazing things happen here. Some lifelong relationships built and just a sense of community that is humbling. We've been a service studio for over a decade and we're now just getting into producing as well. Um, this is really exciting for us because it opens a whole new creative door for the studio and for us as individuals. 
I think as humans we have it in us to build something bigger than ourselves. But it's up to us if we want to reach in and find that.